The fall garden starts different for everyone, especially if you're in different location, it's all different weather. Fall garden right now here is coming into New York because we're, exper we're experiencing 60 degrees in the night, 62 degrees, 64 degrees, which is fall crops weather. Summer plants will not stand that kind of temperature. Summer plants, even in the night, they will require 70 plus degrees in the night. During the day, 70 plus, 80 plus degrees for summer plants. In Long Island, New York, where I'm living right now we're getting low 60s in the night and in the morning but then during the day we're getting mixed temperature we're getting 70 to 80 degrees in the day so it's it's kind of out of the place you have to figure out what is the temperature going on in your area right now are you in the 70 to 80s in the day but you're in the 60s in the night means you're coming on to fall time which you should be to already start seeding or buying your seedlings or whatever you're doing if you still have 70s in the night and 80 to 90 degrees in the day you're still into summer crops you're not into you're not entering the fall crops yet remember fall crops grow better under 70 degrees if you're going to start fall crops and you want to start seed or you want to start you know do your seedlings I suggest you start seeding outdoor and so the temperature is really nice outdoor I suggest you start it outdoor start sowing all your seed outdoor either whether in container direct to the ground or in uh, seeding trees do it outdoor it grows really fast with this temperature outdoor and this way you don't have to do the whole indoor outdoor transplant you're already outdoor the only time you should speed the only time you should be seeding indoor is the springtime when you're coming on to springtime if you're buying seedlings from your local farm and the plants are underneath a shed like a greenhouse or something and the sun is not hitting it directly you have to train those seedlings i tell people all the time train them train them mean you gotta think about this when you buy your seedlings and it's uh, you have like a shaded on the top they never experienced the hot sun yet so when you buy your seedlings do not go and transplant them right away in the hot sun keep them in a cool spot and then bring them out to the sun when you get when you bring them home bring them out to the sun about two leave them about two to four hours of first day put them back in a cool sh uh, spot and then come the second day put them back in the hot sun about four to six hours you want to do this about three days until they get used to the sun because most of the time farmers market they don't have full sun at the top or they have like a plastic covering at the top and that does not help the plant because now when you buy from the farmer's market and you put it down here, you're, there's nothing to shade. You're getting full sun, full wind, so you have to make sure you train your plant. I'm gonna show you right now what I have going on. It's been raining a lot here in Long Island, New York, so I'm gonna show you some of my uh, fall crops coming in. But some of the plants you could go ahead and plant for fall time. You could do pumpkin, you could do any uh, butternut squash, you could do bottle gourds, which is the bottle gourd, swan gourd, speckle gourds, and stuff like that. You could do any mixed lettuce. Mixed lettuce grow perfect in fall temperature. You could do beetroot, you could do turnips, you could do uh, kale, you could do broccoli, you could do uh, cauliflower. There's so much stuff like pak choy. You could do a lot of stuff like peas, beans. Right now, all that is uh, butternut squash, aka winter squash, they will grow in war warmer temperature. You wanna make sure uh, these are some turnips here I'm gonna be transplanted so right here we have watermelon radish what I'm gonna do I'm running out of containers so I'm eventually either gonna transplant them or I'm just gonna as they're growing I'm gonna start trimming them out of the bottom cherry bell radish right here you can see how they're growing right now fast in containers I like to grow in containers and I like to grow in uh, this is kale I'm gonna have to transplant them right now and you can see how my pak choys are growing here I planted this last week and look how beautiful they're looking right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and prune this out, all the bottom one, and add more soil and keep them straight up and sturdy. And I'm gonna keep them, you know, a little bit sun, but not so much of sun. And you can see I have a whole bunch of, uh, these are rainbow carrots here. And these are your regular carrots in a container. The container is deep. You can see about eight inches plus of the carrots. Remember the carrots goes down and the top goes up. It's always good to trim your carrots too. Same way as you prune in a lot of your radish and stuff like that. You do want to trim your carrots around so you get more airflow if you're going to plant in a smaller pot. Come to my garden bed. You could see all this right now is more uh, butternut squash will be running upward on this trellis and you could see i have more um pak choy right here but something is eating them which i will be sprinkling more stuff uh once i check the weather right now and uh right here i have spinach that's just a couple of my fall crops right now i do have a bunch more seedlings that waiting for another couple days before i transplant and i'm gonna be uh, adding in fresh soil and fresh compost make sure to transplant in the evening time not the morning, not midday during the hot sun. You could put a lot of stress to the seedling. 
do it in the evening time and make sure to add some water right after to help them because you're hitting below 70 degrees in the night that's a sign of getting into fall time it's okay if you start even a two weeks before you're getting an advantage of it so that's really good and then if you do seed you do need a two to three weeks advantage because seeds takes a longer time to grow so if you're getting seedlings it's already there so you could plant on time if you're in Long Island New York right now with me you have to start I started since last week some people started two three weeks ago and it's all gonna come down to a lot of harvesting and you know having a beautiful fall garden I started pumpkin plants for a while I have them out of my garden and they're gonna run I'm gonna show you guys coming up you guys stick around and you're gonna see how this fall garden will come around any question comment below I love to answer your question thank you everybody for watching green tea garden uh, though if you're new please subscribe is 100% free and I got a lot more videos coming up